big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss top. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Mr. Maker. What's going on? Not none of my day. I'm on. Man, hey, man. I'm down here in, uh, hey, man. Uh, I'm down here in ATL. We down here in ATL. It's going down, man. Hey, man, uh, we got some very special guests in here. Now, I need to know your name, man. I know, Antoine. Antoine, and yes, you sir. the real Ashanti. The real Ashanti. Real Ashanti. And so, the real Ashanti, oh, you do the music. I heard your music. I, I, I actually looked you up. For sure. So, so, what made you get into music? Um, growing up, that's all I heard. Like, that was all around me. Yeah. I grew up in a music environment. At what age? I was born in the music environment. Explain. Like, I'm from the same hood, Shout Low. Really? Shot Boys, them. Yeah. Oh, you from, you, you from uh, Born Home? Yeah, Born Home. Really? I just interviewed, matter of fact, uh, Shot Low Jr. is supposed to be over here in just a couple. Uh, uh, he'll be here a little bit later on. Yeah, for sure. Shit, yeah, yeah, that's today at seven. So, yeah, 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 man. Shout out to that boy, man. Uh, so, how, so, how is it? How, how was it? Did you hear the stories? You know, you, everybody rap about, about being there, but it's nothing like, you know, being there. So, how was it growing up over there in uh, Bowen Homes? And just, you know, is you really from over there? Because T.I. and him was I tripping. Was on who was home. over there, nigga? And, and he was tripping about that. Y'all, I, I y'all remember was, that? They was tripping. No, nah, I was born in Bowen Homes. Like, born in Bowen Homes. My door number was my birthday. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Born in Bowen Homes. So. So, Were you your only child? No. How many siblings? I don't even know. Dang, you Nuh-uh. see how she did that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, friend, my mama got eight kids. My daddy got like 12, I think. Are you the oldest, youngest? Where? I'm the youngest on my mama's side and the second to the youngest on my dad's side. Wow. So you had a lot in front of you. Mm-hmm. So are any of them in the music as well? My brother was. Okay. That's it. So did he influence you at all? At all? Oh, yeah, for sure. I used to try to compete with him. Like, bro, I need to rap like you. How much older is he? I think he's 23. Okay. So he like four years older than me. Okay, so y'all like grew up back to back. Mm-hmm. So is um, your mom and daddy, were they together when you were growing up? Mm, you could say that. Started we was in now. the house together, so I guess okay. so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I guess so. Yeah. So you did have the mother and father influence in your life. Then. Oh yeah, yeah. So so who is this young man right here? What is he to you? What does he mean to you? And my cousin. Can he rap? Or something? What's going on with him? That's my right hand. He's just with you all the time. Yeah, for sure. Already, man. So so he ride or die. Yeah, for sure. Already, you and you from over at Born Homes as well. No, I'm not from Born Homes. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't lie, nigga. Nigga, be tight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't from Born Homes. Boy, that's a serious that. situation when you say you from somewhere and you really not. Niggas be that that'll that'll ruin your rap career right there. Yeah. When a nigga say he from somewhere and he really not, they go find out where you from and go over your grandmama house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm Pull you up on the internet like, bro, he's not from here. <laughs> so when you what 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 um so when you consider your when you look at your style of rap, the way your cadence is, is um. You know, what's your what 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 do you think st- puts you on another level from others? Females or male? Like what you Whoever. Mean? Ain't no female or male. I'm ain't different, no, ain't like, no female or male in this thing. But what makes you different? I ain't heard of artists in my age range that can compete with me yet. Really? Yeah. How old are you? Nineteen. Oh, and ain't nobody can get with nobody. you. Nobody. If they can tell them come come see me. Nah, for real. Okay, and you say you're different, but have you always been different from the day you started rapping? Because, you know, sometimes people evolve yeah. into that. No, I've been different. I've been felt the way I'm feeling now. Like, nobody can see me. Wow, that's great. I feel like I'm ahead of my age. Like, I done seen more stuff than people, feel me? Witnessed more stuff than people, so... Like, I could talk about stuff that other artists my age probably can't. Wow. So What's the most tragic thing you've ever seen? The most tragic thing. I don't like that I done been in front of or what? Mm-hmm. I ain't been in front of it. I was just around it. I don't want to see it. You feel me? But I done heard it. Like growing up and born home, like going to sleep. You feel me? Hearing gunshots and you sleep. Got to wake up out of sleep. You feel me? Type stuff like being outside, hearing gunshots. Got to run in the house. All that type of stuff. There. Wow. 
So, I mean, the, so family members and everybody, all of them come up in Bowen Home. Yeah, all my family. Yeah, so, and, and you, you've been pushing that music out, man. I heard you, you and the Red the Sun, got a, y'all got a song together. Yeah, for sure. The Red Sun, my brother, for sure. Yeah, yeah. How did you make that happen? Uh, my manager actually made it happen. My manager in shout. How did you hear about it? Hear about what? The, when the song was going down and how did you come oh, he just told me like we finna go to the, I'm finna go all the way into it he told me like he was just like we finna go to the studio I got some for you he didn't tell me who it was with at first <laughs> get to the studio then um shot was calling the red sun on the phone and that's how I knew who I was doing the song with come in the studio boom I told the red sun like you go first I'm gonna go off your vibe oh so you oh you just caught Oh, you just gonna tell the rest to Sean, you just gonna go off of his vibe. Yeah, I told him I'm gonna go off your vibe. And then and then he went in there and did his thing and you came and I, I love for that sure. song. I, I love the way you came with it as well. Yeah. You can't be playing, did it how did that make you feel though, knowing that he uh you know, established artist and you was getting ready to have to be on a song with him? Good. Like I knew like I'm gonna be there one day, you feel me? So it went it wasn't really like a task for me or nothing. Yeah. Cause I already know how it was gonna come. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, and, and go ahead. What female in the industry do you look up to? Female, I really don't look up none of these females in the industry. Not gonna lie, but even in the past, if I was, it would have to be like Nicki Minaj. Like, Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Why? Because of the lyrics. Yeah. Like, Her I just flow. Feel, yeah, I feel like she different. Like she can switch it up. She ain't just got to talk about, you know. And and that, that body parts and stuff. That statement you made earlier about male or female, that ain't the way she think. Yeah. She straight get to it no matter who get on in front of her. Yeah. She gonna come on with it. So you, you it ain't For no sure. male or female when it come down to what she do. Yeah. So I know already you if you on that if you on that right there, them boys in trouble, them girls in trouble. In trouble. <laughs> so And do you consider yourself a vers- versatile um artist where you can switch it up? Yeah, I can do whatever. If, it, if, if y'all need me to do a hundred flows, I can do a hundred flows. Wow. How long did it take you to process the music? I'm a freestyler. It don't take me no time. So do you write everything down? Mm, or right are you now. punching? I don't write nothing. She punching mm. in. Punching in. Yeah. Just go. Wow. Like, be like, she'll say, give me a type. I'm going to go off y'all type. Whatever we say, she's going to go out of type. It's a whole song. The whole song? Put it together off of one type. Nah. I saw she was going at freestyle ten minutes by five now. And wow. don't have to keep correcting it don't just have one to. time. Don't have to. Wow. Okay. So what out of all your videos or out of all your songs, which one would you say was your most creative work? My most creative work? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. The recent one I just did, um called on. Bands on the Sprinter. I mm-hmm. seen that. I seen the video. That was dope. Bands on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. How long did it take you to process it? The song. I freestyled the song. They just have a feeling at the time. Really? Yeah. And and so you feel like uh you just jumping and boofing this on. So you can do this all day. How long do you usually stay in that studio? How often are you in there? Uh, like how long when I have a session? Like five hours. Four, five hours. Wow. Four, five hours. All day, all night. What's your day? Is it a day process or a night? Or it don't matter any time. I go at night time. Night time. She's a night out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, when you when you say you, what what was the first video that you put out? Was it like a trap spot? Like the first video I ever put out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now nah, my first video it was called Black Lives Matter. Whoa! Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That was the heavy one now. Yeah. Black Lives Matter. Boy, that's good stuff right that there. When I, that was my first song I ever made. How was it? It was all right. Yeah. How long ago was that? Mm, that was in like the eighth grade. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, eighth grade. I can't, I'm not even going to say what inspired that because it speaks for itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love the music. You say she was born into it, so you can't be mad at that. Yeah. So, so who's your favorite rapper? Who's the top three artists of all time? Dead, dead, or, alive. dead or Alive. Any genre? Mm. Baby. Mm-hmm. Number two. Did you say Lil Wayne? Did you say baby? Yeah. Come on, man. Stop <laughs> playing, bro. Stop playing. Lil Wayne. Baby. That's my and number three. Right there, mm. I'm gonna have to go with Nicki Minaj. 
Wow. So I gotta like have it. a girl in the category. So you mm-hmm. like that? You like that? You, 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 she just named all of the the, the cash money, young money <laughs> team, right? Yeah. And that's who you rock with. Yeah. Already, man. So um, when you what? Who would you like to work with? And, and if you could pick anyone, and it could be one of them three, but if you could pick anybody to work with in this world, who would it be? Who do baby. you think? Baby. That's your favorite rapper. Yeah, baby. He got. It. I gotta give it to baby. Wow, I'm, man! Hey, man! I cut for you. That's think my you, guy right there. Think yeah, they can make sure. magic. Yeah, yeah. She know already. She watched the process. She know what she's dealing with. Anytime you're dealing with that guy, man, he, he it's a lot of success come behind him. Yeah. No matter what you hear, it's a lot of millionaires being established as you hear the all of the riff raff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so hey, man, I'm gonna get my million, and y'all can keep talking. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What is the hardest thing you had to encounter right now um, in the music industry as a female? What the hardest thing? Mm-hmm. Mm. Hate. Hate. But anybody gonna get that? That's good stuff. Hate and that's that's really it for me. Because some females make it, it will say um, it's harder for a female than it is for a male. It is. How? It's because like. Labels like to see young boys rapping, holding guns in videos. I don't know why, but it like that bring the attention. Yeah. So I feel like with the generation that we dealing with now and the industry type of time that we on now, like if you're a male, you can make a song. It don't even got to make sense. You'll blow faster than a female that song actually makes sense. You feel me? Well, I, I, think, I think a lot of times you can't never really call it. You don't really know. You know, if you good, yeah, it don't matter. If you good and you work harder than everybody else, it don't matter. Yeah, don't you matter. outwork everybody, you gonna win. Yep. I, I I really believe that you got a dope style. So if you work and you keep working, your work ethic is what's gonna win out. For sure. Most people don't work. They don't put that work in. They want the results before the work. They want fame. They don't want the money. Yeah. So this is what's going down. I want the money though. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say. Um, Everybody always know their strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. Name one thing that you think that um, you could improve on. Mm. That you know you're not going as hard as in that category. Because no matter what, when we give our all in something, we always, something always lack. Because being a brand, it's an overall business. But we can't, we, we can't have time for everything. Yeah. Something that I can improve on. Mm-hmm. Um, getting used to people more. That's about the only thing I can say. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be shy. Sometimes. So, yeah, yeah. But that, that that's a part. That's, about, you, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to work with that. You because you're gonna going. have your fans that's gonna approach you and all of that. Yeah. It's okay to be shy when they might when them lights, camera, action come on. You know what time it yeah, is. Yeah, I ain't gonna be shy when them lights come on. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it's, I mean, that's dope that you would even admit it. Most folks, you know, they, 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 they run around and they, they, they try to prop up, but you got to open up to change, right? Yeah, for sure. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm waiting on you. You can jump in the game in a minute. I already do. I see you coming in the game. Come on, you can jump in the game. Have yeah. you met that fan yet that um, approached you and said that, man, your music changed my life? No, not yet, but it's coming. Or have you met somebody be like, yeah, man, I love your music? Not that it changed their life, but I done had some fans come up to me like, you need to keep dropping. I don't want to listen to nobody else type of stuff like that. Wow, that's mm. dope. Yeah. I done had people walk up to me in the mall and all that. Yeah, because you're working. Yeah, everywhere I go, somebody know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah, it got to be It got to be that work, man. All work and, and, and no play, right? Yeah, for sure. So, so um, what, would you like to own a label one day or would you like to... You know, what's your what's your end game? Ain't even gonna lie. I do wanna own the label. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all do you keep hollering baby. You gotta it gotta be owning the label somewhere. Cause like <laughs> when I be looking at some of the artists. When I be looking at some of the artists, it be like, I see some hard artists out here too. But if I had my own label, everybody ain't gonna get overlooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you know. Some people got labels, but they don't really pay attention to everybody. I get it. So the people that I see, you feel me? If I like them, then 
You might as well give them a shot. Yeah, I, I, I think a lot of times the, the game is, is, is different, man. So when it comes down to the, the, the business, you know, you, I know you got your manager and you got everything going on. Mm, but, for sure. But, um, you know, uh, part is turning everything to an ROI for the youngsters. That's where you start to see the challenges right now. Everybody, a lot of people want to rap, but they don't know how to change this thing to a money game to where yeah. they can bring in some income through the rap. So the thing I say is... Um, that's the thing that I challenge all the youngsters with, man. Like everybody, they jumping up, getting these video, they they doing their thing. Now they ain't did it like you. They ain't got no song with the Reds or nothing. But they some of these cats, they just putting music out. So what would you suggest to them to try to figure it out, get it a better position? The artist to the artist. Really, just keep going. Like, it's always somebody watching. So watch what you do. Watch how you do it. But no matter what. Even if nobody ain't looking, keep going because somebody gonna recognize it. Wow, for sure. Yeah, is it a chemistry to that to 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 the algorithm of the Instagram and all that? You know, niggas be losing their Instagram here lately, man. Everything y'all been seeing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, nigga, nigga losing Instagram, their Instagram. Instagram be tripping. Instagram, yeah, Instagram ain't got straight. It's mostly yeah. black people though. No, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> This ain't no white folks. Snatching this is, them Instagram, yeah, locking drive, it out. I think, yeah, I think academic lost heels. I think uh, uh, Say Cheese lost his, got him back, you mm -hmm. know. But Cheating ass Myron lost Cheating his. Cheating ass Myron, he ain't got his back yet. But what mm -hmm. I'm just saying, these people get losing these pages with all this, you know, they, they generating revenue through these pages. Yeah. And, and so. But you know what it shows me? In everything that you do, you always have a backup. Just like some of them have their backup pages. It'll show you in life, you always have a backup. Yeah. I think you should have multiple ways to get money streaming on different mm -hmm. platforms anyway. You yeah. got to figure out a way not to use just one person because they'll dumb you down to one position. Anything you do where you put yourself in a box, you're messing up. Yeah. So you got to have something like a YouTube, a Patreon, a, you know what I'm saying? Uh, everything. You got to have, and then you got to have something to wear, T-shirts, like you got the shirt. Let's talk about the shirt, man. So uh, how did you come up with this brand? Well... The t shirt, the logo. No the money, no yeah. money. No problems. Really, no money. Nah, no, no money, yes, problems. Well, you got the circle. No problems. <laughs> if you ain't got no money, if yeah. you ain't got no money, you're going to have problems, right? Of yeah. Of course. Yeah, you know how people be like, more money, more problems? Mm hmm. But. They lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, there's a lot of damn problems come with money. Well, yeah, yeah, problems come with money, no, without yeah. it, but I feel like you have more problem with no money. But I'd rather have a problem with the money. Yeah, because you can't Bring do nothing if you ain't got no money. Bring the damn money. <laughs> I'll take the damn money every time. You know? <laughs> and the problem. Bring the problem. Man. Talking about bring the damn money. Already, man. So, hey, man, you know, you guys, man, y'all dope, man. Um, you, you definitely one of the one, one of the highlighting moments of of what's going on for me today because I didn't even know you you know the the, the red the show, that's a, that's a big hit that's a big deal right there for sure yeah and uh, so who else you want to work with future. like here in oh future how about saying that like, yeah future yeah future too hard that's who you want to that's who you want to rock with baby future and thug wow <coughs> that's that's a hell of a song. Yeah, that's a hell of a song, Baby Future and the Yeah. Ooh, wait, that's heat right there. Crazy. Right? Oh, I can't forget about Lil Dirt though. That's your boy? Yeah, Lil Dirt hard. He hard? Yeah. <coughs> so what do you think? Um do you, so Dirt Dirt is a uh uh you think he's uh pretty much uh uh he's he's harder than than, than some of these southern rappers or what's up? You know, I'm gonna start being biased right here. You say, do I think Dirt harder than some of the other rappers? Yeah. For sure. Who, who, future? He harder than Future? Yeah. I would say. I, I just say, I listen to Dirt more. Yeah. What about Young Boy? Young Boy? He just all about vibe. He harder than Dirt. I mean, no. Dirt yeah. harder than him than me. The numbers don't lie. I know, but I'm saying <laughs> to me, like, Young Boy got a crazy fan base, though. So the numbers don't lie. Numbers yeah, don't numbers work. don't lie. Wow. So you got any more questions? Yeah, hey man, we it. want to tell you thank you, man, for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you? Instagram what at the real Shanti. D a r e a l s h a n t i. Yeah, and if you want to get a hold of a nigga, y'all go over to Born Home. She over there too. <laughs> <laughs> she might pull up on you, nigga. But yeah, Born I can't home. go to Born Home. They told they to tore it down. down. I know it. I, hey, I was I was hurt behind it because y'all had me one. I I never got to go, 
And when I seen that tore it down, I was like, man, the history right there, they just, uh And they always trying to act like they're helping the community, but really they're not, yeah. you know. Maybe that's a lot of history over there. But then a lot of people say it's so much, you know, stuff that went on, they'd, they'd rather see it gone. Mm-hmm. Right? Which one did you, would you rather see it go? Mm-mm. You wanted to be there. They ain't seen nothing change since he left. They ain't did nothing else. Wow. That's crazy. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that, that, that's, that's what they do. They, they do stuff like that in the community. Then they don't help our people. I don't like it. I hate it. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, hey, man. Um, so, um, <clears throat> one thing I can tell you is, man, keep on going. Keep on doing striving. You know what I mean? Keep on pushing, man. I'm going to be watching. I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna be watching. I'm gonna be talking. That's what I do. I talk. Sure. That's why I got a mic. Talk. You know? <laughs> so check it, man. Hey, man. I appreciate you for coming on the show, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. And we have.